what are the kinds of resources and opportunities that you, that your school uh, makes available or that has made available because kids were asking for it that are not typically available in other types of school, in more mainstream types of schools? That's a great question. Our resources sort of come from a variety of things. They come from people being interested in things, and they also come from things that are sent to us that, as staff, we think look interesting. Um, so a lot of them could be schooly, like field trips. I know we're taking a field trip to go and see Romeo and Juliet on April 3rd. So there are some things that are schooly, but then there are also the field trips like a community-wide camping trip that involves like three days of camping with your friends without that mm. many chaperones and staff members and things like that. So that might be something unique. We also have a school-wide sleepover that happens mm -hmm. that I know is unusual to most schools. We have field trips that are unusual as well. Like occasionally there will be ones going to Herring Run Park and looking at things like a dead deer or like glass that has been left on the ground and things like that. Um, so they're interesting mm -hmm. field trips, I would say, is one of them. We also have the resources for everyone to access screens should they need or want. So we don't want people arguing over screens or if they don't have enough money for one themselves not right. to be able to utilize the screen because of that. So we make sure that all of our community members have access to devices and screens, should that be something that they want to engage in because we don't limit screen time. So that's something definitely unusual from other schools. I know screen time is a big factor for a lot of people. So it can be a point of contention, but it is something that we don't limit. Things along those lines that are really kid-friendly. Kids have the ability to go outside and play all day as a resource. That's something kind of unheard of at other models of education, especially public right, right. school. So yeah, they, they have the ability to self-select in their day, which can be a resource of their own, especially an untapped mm. one that other schools don't have. So I think those are just a few to name. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.